Under the Hammers, tips on bidding at auction. Make sure you are aware of the terms and conditions of auction and also ensure that any changes that needed to be made to the contract were made prior to the day. Your solicitor or conveyancer will provide you a copy of what has been agreed upon and it's best to take this with you on the day of auction. Once you have bought at auction, there is no further negotiation on the terms. Do your research into the area's recent sales so that you are educated as to what prices are doing in the suburb. Once you are comfortable with local price trends, you will be able to make your own assessment on where you are comfortable bidding to. Set two limits prior to attending auction day. The first would be the ideal limit for which you would like to purchase the property. The second is a figure that represents your walk away price and the point in which you are prepared to let the property go. Work and communicate with the agent. The selling agent is there to assist you wherever they can. Communicate with the agent and ask questions that will assist you with your purchase. This will also let the agent know that you are interested in the property. If you intend to purchase the property, you need to ensure that you remain as the highest bidder at all times, even if the property has not met the reserve price. In the event that a property is passed in, the highest bidder is the one who most often ends up purchasing the home, as they will often get the first chance to negotiate. Myths of auctions that are not necessarily true. Waiting till the very last minute to place a bid as it will ensure success. Erratic bidding will throw the competition. The auctioneer has to take any figure that is bid. The vendor bid, if used, is usually a reflection of the reserve. The auctioneer will announce the property on the market. We hope this assists you with your auction bidding experience and we wish you the best of luck in your purchasing endeavours.